Okay guys, this week we are looking at reproductive success in organisms. So on your IXL, we're looking at R1, and what we need to do is read the passage and look for the characteristics that help the organism be more successful in reproduction. So on this one, it says animals often behave in certain ways that can increase their reproductive success. Read the passage for a specific animal behavior and follow the instructions below. So in this example, we have an Amazonian poison frog can live in the tropical forest in northern South America. After a male and female frog mate, the female frog lays eggs on a plant. When tadpoles hatch from the eggs, the male frog lets the tadpoles climb onto his back. The male then searches for water trapped in spaces where plants leaves meet their stems. He puts his tadpoles in these small pools of water. If the male frog puts a tadpole into a pool with a larger tadpole, the smaller tadpole is often eaten. So the male frog usually puts each tadpole, excuse me, tadpole into a pool of water that does not have any other tadpoles in it. Each tadpole lives in in its own pool until it undergoes metamorphosis to develop into a frog. So our question is, why might putting each tadpole in its own pool of water increase the reproductive success of a male Amazonian poison frog? Complete the claim below that answers this question and is supported by the passage. So, putting each tadpole into its own pool of water increases the chances that the male tadpoles will become adult frogs. The male's tadpoles will be larger when they hatch. Or the male will carry their tadpoles through the forest. So in the passage, we said that by putting a single tadpole in each pool, it had more of a chance of surviving because the larger tadpoles would eat the smaller ones. So we're going to say, choice one, the male tadpoles will become adult frogs. Okay, then the second question is to consider the claim about how the male Amazonian poison frog can increase its reproductive success. Putting each tadpole in its own pool of water increases the chances that the male's tadpoles will become adult frogs. Which of the following observations best supports the claim? Remember, this is what we did when we worked on reading um, in Ms. Rice's and Ms. Waddell's classes where we talked about main idea and supporting evidence. So, male, uh, excuse me, tadpoles are eaten less often when they are placed in pools without other tadpoles. Tadpoles don't leave their small pools of water until they become frogs. Or male frogs carry tadpoles while searching for empty pools of water to put the tadpoles in. Okay, so each one we said needed its own, so it wasn't eaten. So which of these is going to support the claim? So we say tadpoles are eaten less often when they are placed in tad in pools without other tadpoles. All right. So, on this lesson, all you're doing is you're going back and you're reading the, the passage and you're looking for the information that backs up the main idea. And we've done this before and I know you guys have done it in English too. So, just take your time and read each passage carefully and I know that you'll do fine. If you have any questions, just email your science teacher and we'll be happy to help.